Rustler's already slow cooked mini ribs with sweet barbecue sauce are today's guest artist at Rustler's Fest. They've been in the oven, they've been cooking and the crowd have gone wild. Let's have a look at how they performed. Today at Rustler's Fest, it's the already slow cooked mini ribs with sweet barbecue sauce. Look how good they look. And in reality, here they are in their full glory. These four on the left were cooked in the oven. The four on the right were zapped in the microwave to have a little bit of diversity, seeing as you can cook them either way. They've gone for a 50-50. Nothing like that's been done before here at Rustler's Fest. Let's taste and give a verdict. So they've been oven baked, they've been microwave, they've been covered in their barbecue sauce, they have finished their act. We are going to see what they taste like here at Rustler's Fest, the already slow cooked mini ribs. And I'm not really looking forward to it. Be prepared, there may be strong and offensive language from the outset. We're gonna try an oven one first. I keep looking down because they're there. These are the oven, these are the microwave. We went for both, like we've said just to see which one comes out better. Are any of them gonna be any good? There's not a lot of meat, but they are mini ribs. They are mini ribs. And for this channel, and for Rustler's Fest, we will indulge oven cooked barbecue mini ribs. So the meat fell off that quite cleanly, as it should with a rib. I'm just gonna try and microwave one as well, and we can compare the two. So you know a Chinese takeaway? We all have our favorite Chinese takeaway. And sometimes we'll indulge in some ribs. Some Chinese takeaways do better ribs than others. These aren't very good at all. They're a bit, the meat is, they're coated in barbecue sauce. I was generous. You do get a lot of barbecue sauce. It's 20 minutes in the oven, then coat them in the sauce for another five minutes, or about four minutes in the microwave, coat them in the sauce for another minute. And I was generous because I was scared of the taste. And the amount of barbecue sauce I've put on them isn't enough to detract from what is like a cheap, meat if you'd seen i should have i wish i'd done a video of the vacuum pack it comes in because the the grossness of what it looked like inside i can't believe they've actually come out not looking too bad and if i'm going to be honest and i will be honest we are honest and fair on this channel i won't ever purchase these again those about two pound fifty two pound eighty in uh asda um, just get some ribs from your chinese even the worst chinese ribs the meat is going to be better quality and better tasting than what this is. It's just, I've still got the aftertaste. I'm not even going in for another bite. And I'm hungry and I'm greedy. And I'm not going in for another bite. If you like Rustlers, fair play to you. It's all about convenience. And they've changed it up a little bit. Let's be fair, everything's normally been a burger until these. And they've gone for a rib. They've gone for it. Fair play, but they're just the taste is just not for me. Even the barbecue sauce is, it doesn't even taste like barbecue sauce that much. So it doesn't detract away from the that fake meaty smell I was talking about. Stay tuned for more Rustler's Fest entertainment coming your way on the Adam Avell YouTube channel and like and subscribe if you haven't already. I don't want to eat any more.